Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. And I've got myself some phthalo blue and some white. So why would you use that in the background, this painting? I'm going to do like a forest scene with some, maybe some light sparkling through. So I thought I would uh, mess around with some blues. It's about with some colour in the background. Create a bit of a, a forest. I was uh, walking down the road and, uh, and I was looking at the puddles and I took some pictures of them and I was like, hmm. Interesting. Well, maybe I could add a puddle in this. <laughs> Not sure. I'm always looking at different things, <laughs> different trees and rivers, and then things that are around them. Just thinking about the next painting. As I'm always thinking about the next one next idea that I could do. There's a really good uh, house that I looked at. It was one of these abandoned houses. I thought, oh, it's another one of those. I like those. <laughs> they just look really cool. And I think, hmm, painting idea. <laughs> anyway, today I'm going to be deep in the woods. Just just charge in some of these colours a little bit more, give them a bit more blue. I want to give that indication, I'm leaving some dark areas, just to give it that sort of indication that there's trees there. I don't want it to be like a too uh, a little bit too much because we could always paint some in, couldn't we? Might have a bit of light sort of coming through. Something like that. Quite like that. I kind of feel the need to bring up the light a little bit. The trees. I got some black and blue. Do uh, indications of the trees. Yeah, thinking about those puddles, I might have a puddle here. <laughs> I'll bring this painting up to there as well. So I'm getting rid of some of that black and then I can start using the blue and black I can put in a few branches and stuff maybe there's a branch there and, a, and one there Kind of like the idea of loads of trees here, deep in the woods. Just 
walking through and seeing all the different branches everywhere nice little wintry look Really going for it with some uh, branches. Thinking about what I used to see when I used to sit in the woods. <laughs> There's a tree there. Okay, there's not quite a bit going on there. So then I'm going to uh, Use a little bit of the blue and a little bit of the ultramarine blue, the phalo blue, a bit of this dark, a bit of the white. I'm going to start creating some land below all this. Imagine it's going inwards like that. Bring it out. coming forward I want there to be a bit of a light area here so I want the light to go through there a bit, of, a bit more of the white on the brush through there maybe it might go for a touch of yellow in it might have a bit of light going there as well just going shing, a bit on the snow there and along here and then I might have a little bit of a mound there and I'll put some trees there so I'll get some of the uh, like some blue I'm going to keep this quite bluey bluey blacky colour I kind of like the idea of a tree that's going Uh, 
and then what I can do is I can have a light on one side of it so we can see it. <laughs> I could have one there as well. A bit darker on that one side. You can as you're doing this you can start to see where you can put shadows and things as soon as you start putting your trees in you can think oh well that could cast a, a shadow there I mean we could have one here because of this light so this one could be casting one right there So then that one's casting a, a dark light along there and then I can start seeing where the lights are and where the darks are because I could have another tree closer if I wanted but let's start doing a bit more on the light bits so I quite like this yellow ochre in with a white goes a tiny bit green because of the blue but not too green I quite like it so I can use that for this tree so we can have light going up this tree something like that this tree as well get along this and then this tree can have some light on that side and then this can have sunlight coming through and this can as well there and there's a, a bit that goes down there and maybe there's a tree there that we can't see which is casting a shadow there maybe there's a bit of light back there as well coming through This light goes in front of that one. That shows that this tree goes to about there and the roots there and it's in front of that one there. I might put some nice little branches on as well. Using this colour, a little uh, light branches. Take that down a little bit just so it's below this because that's that light's coming through 
there behind that tree. might even go like this just to break that up so that pushes that tree back a little bit now which is good and then this tree's there and then uh, I can see a quite a nice tree there that I could put a little highlight on always create these little indications of things as well so that's looking quite cool quite cold it's a very cold wintry paint in this one <laughs> very cold that's snow a bit more, a bit more snow coming down I think do I really want any other things in this painting? So I quite like it the way it is. I think it works quite good. Maybe I want a path. Maybe if I had a path that just leads us in, comes down there. down there and I could also uh Get rid of some of this black and have some blue in the black if I want to. You could even have like a bit of uh, I'm just gonna lighten this bit here. I just want that light to carry on on that one side. trying to take away that almost black <laughs> take away that black just to make it dark instead I might even uh, add a tiny bit of blue and white and have that on the side of the tree side as well something like that and then I'll just clean this this up here a bit get some light spots I 
Okay, something like that. Maybe a little bit more light there. Yeah, quite like that. That's quite a nice little wintry scene. You could do something like this, no problem. You could, uh, could even put somebody in it if you wanted to. Just softening that dark a bit more. Yeah, you can imagine walking through here. Imagine going in and walking up there. I think it's up there, isn't it? That you would go. Something like that. Yeah, that looks quite interesting. I quite like that. So, if you wanted to do something wintry like this, a bit of a uh, cold looking woodland scene. You want some scene where you want either someone walking through or, or you just want it to be a bit quiet. You know, I'm tempted to do a little building there. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Have like a bit of a Ghostly, <laughs> a bit of a ghostly cabin, that isn't it? Let's get a bit, a little bit of brown. Just a tiny bit of brown, brown and blue. door in, a bit black, black and just go sh door in there, maybe a chimney. Maybe we could put a little bit of a window on, on it. But what I might do, <laughs> just to give this sort of a spooky, spooky-ish look. I use yellow and blue. Mm, it's not really strong enough. About that with a bit of yellow in. Thalo blue, yellow and white. Hmm, it's not quite where I'm at. <laughs> I want it to look weirder than that. Sort of a uh, green, green yellow, like phthalo green. I'll try this. Phthalo green. Halo green yellow colour. <laughs> it's a bit weird. It's 
see what it looks like as a light. So maybe we'll have the light on sort of here. around the door maybe a light there as well on the side Dark. Just to clean the light up a little bit. snow just for that one side just create a bit of mist as well I'm not going to do any more onto that So it should be going like that. Something like that. I won't do any more to it. I'm just trying to create something in there. Just something different really. Just to give that a big big area, give it some something to go to, some sort of a journey for someone. Oh you know what? I might put someone in it. <laughs> now we've done that. Maybe I could have someone with like a red hood. <laughs> Maybe they're just stood in the light there. I can have a bit of light on them. They're carrying a bit of a basket. You know, totally made up story. <laughs> the basket. Uh... Feet. 
So there's a little girl walking down there with a basket. Going to this house. <laughs> Who knows who's in there? Maybe a wolf or something. <laughs> Maybe it's the grandma. But anyway, uh, there we go. That'll do for this uh, painting. I had a lot of fun there, actually. Started to, uh, I think when you start creating stories and stuff, you start enjoying it a bit more. I'm tempted to just put a bit more light on that side. So that, that there we go. Bit of light on the person so we can see. So that'll do, I think. Uh I'll say thanks very much for watching this one. It's a little bit of a moody little girl with a, a red hood on. <laughs> so thanks very much for watching and I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.